Do you want to work in the video game industry? Good luck! 2024 has been an awesome year for playing video games, with many new amazing titles as well as updates to existing ones. However, things aren't that great for those working on video games. Just halfway into 2024, the total number of layoffs in the industry has already exceeded that of 2023. More than 10,000 people have lost their jobs, including programmers, quality assurance workers, artists, and more. This has even affected studios with a presence in Singapore, like Riot Games, the creators of League of Legends and Valorant, as well as Ubisoft, the ones behind the quadruple A flop, Skull and Bones. Why is this happening? Firstly, now that the pandemic is gone, players are spending less on consoles or games since they can touch grass. Studios that overexpanded to meet the demand back then are now forced to downsize. Moreover, games are getting very expensive to make. Developing and marketing AAA titles like Call of Duty and GTA cost tens or even hundreds of millions of dollars, and not all studios can make back their money afterwards. Also, gamers now spend more time in less games. Most of that time goes into established titles with continuous updates. So, for every successful live service game like Genshin or Helldivers 2, fewer resources will go into developing brand new games which are more risky. And lastly, MONEY! To investors, layoffs aren't seen as a disaster but cost reductions instead, maintaining the illusion of companies being healthy and sustainable for a long time. Now that you're sufficiently depressed over this, I do have SOME good news. Not every studio is eager to lay off people just yet. Hidetaka Miyazaki, the president of From Software and director of 2022's Game of the Year Elden Ring, stated that he won't let layoffs happen under him. He even quoted the late ex-president of Nintendo, Satoru Iwata, that creativity can thrive only when people are not afraid of losing their jobs. So, 